Hello friends, welcome to my channel, it's Marilyn here, thanks for joining me today. I have a second tutorial with the January Limited Edition kit. The link and information about this kit is in the description box down below. These are the two photos of my niece Camila, and this is the uh, base paper that I'm going to use today. First step is to prime the paper with clear gesso. And I'm going to use this tool that I bought at scrapbook.com and that I love because in a blink of an eye, I can already apply the gesso. Highly recommended. From this paper, I'm going to cut out this frame, some flowers and different elements. And I also cut, let me show you, this piece of paper. This is a, like a four and a quarter by 12. And I'm going to stick the paper now on a piece of white cardstock. I'm using the liquid glue. Okay, let me put here. And I am leaving about an eighth of an inch on each side of the paper. I continue here at here. And I will need like a one inch to complete the 12 inches here. But first, I am <clears throat> I use the trimmer now, and I am trim, leaving a one eighth of an inch of the other side here. You can see. And now with the white card stud, I'm going to cut like a one a one inch and a quarter to complete the 12 inches. And I'm going now to stick this in the bottom part of the paper here. Once I adhere this, I'm going to trim off the excess of the paper. Okay. And now it's ready. Let me cut the little tiny piece here carefully. Okay, and it's done. You can see here the piece. Now <clears throat> I'm cut using a die, a pair of these strips with dollies, and I'm going to glue them on the white edges. Carefully, I will continue adhering all the pieces. Okay, I continue carefully adhering all the strips and it's easier the work with this uh, glue because it, it has a thin tip perfect for this type of project. Now I'm going to trim off the excess here and here and it is done. I want to make stitches so I'm going to my sewing machine and you can see how lovely it looks with all these stitches around. So pretty. Now that it is ready let me frame the photo and um, I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock that I have and I'm using this angle because it is a small piece and in this angle the frame fits well so I don't want to waste anything uh, paper anything so I'm using this but <clears throat> when I put the the frame I noticed that I need to cut out the corners of the photo because they are visible under the frame and we don't want that. So for that reason I cut all this and now I can adhere the frame to the photo. I'm going to use the liquid adhesive <clears throat> that I prefer for this type of project because if you need to move something you still have time. <clears throat> Uh, in comparison with other glue that uh, dries uh, immediately. Now that this is the photo is framed, I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to adhere my second photo. It is ready and now with my scissor I cut <coughs> around leaving a tiny uh, of white cardstock and the same here to make like a shadow. These are ready, <coughs> and now I can. Uh, I already cut uh, these two pieces too, and then I'm going to cut by half. One piece is from white cardstock, and the one that is over the white cardstock is vellum. So I cut two pieces of this and cut by half. I am making marks here in the area that I'm going to 
put all these pieces because I'm going to add now texture and I'm using the stencil that comes in the January limited edition kit and with the modeling phase I'm going to add texture now I am checking the pencil marks because I want I, <laughs> I want to be sure to put the uh, textures in the area that are visible because you <coughs> and I don't want any way uh, waste uh, uh, too much product too so I am trying to uh, put this in the area uh, following the pencil marks <coughs> and once I complete this area I'm going to add a little of the textures in the bottom part here <coughs> here and here and it is done let me remove this I'm going to let it dry the paper and work with the other pieces now okay meanwhile <laughs> the all the textures dry I put cardboard behind all these pieces as I show you and now I'm going to attach these two pieces together I'm going to let like a quarter an inch or a little more <clears throat> to uh, of the border of the balloon and the white cardstock as you see here Here, and it is ready let me see here you see it's almost it's not and a half inch is less but and I'm going to place this in this area I want to smooth a little background <coughs> because uh, the my base paper has uh, a lot of design is uh, I love that is in soft color but you know it's a busy paper so I am trying to blend this a little and that is the reason that I put these two white pieces on the background and in this area will be the photo now that I am sure what I want to place all these I'm going to adhere all the pieces down here <coughs> sorry I am trying to uh, to align all these pieces well and once I put this one with, with the same piece I put it in uh, in a horizontal uh, way to check that these are uh, it's not perfect but looks looks good <laughs> at least and now I'm going to adhere the big piece here <coughs> and you can see now I'm going to do the same I'm going to cut a piece of cardboard and put it behind of the frame <clears throat> photo and my second photo I put it in this uh, lovely envelope that comes in one of the paper you have to construct the envelope but it's so cute and then I put the second photo here the kit comes with it sheet board and I'm using one of the butterflies and I apply first gesso a uh, thin coat of gesso <clears throat> and cover all the sheet board and I am <laughs> making this over a plastic so don't be afraid I'm not going to ruin my page and then <laughs> now I am apply uh, white acrylic paint <clears throat> and in that way it looks very white the the shibor sometimes you can do it and add a few coats of paint but I always prefer to apply gesso and then the the paint and is easier in that way now I'm going to work with the photo with the sorry with the flowers this flower for me is too big <laughs> because I prefer small and medium flowers for my pages so I remove the last uh, petals that are the big ones and make the flower like a uh, medium size I think so then I am playing with the rest of the flowers from the kit and make a flower arrangement here <coughs> now for I decided to add a little of volume here uh, to the second uh, photo so I am attaching on the back of the em of the envelope a piece of cardboard and in that way uh, I think it looks better <coughs> I am sure how everything looks so I am going to start to attach the photo I am trying to make an angle here to give uh, an interest look for uh, to the page now with the principal photo I will do the same <coughs> and attach these up 
the second of my second uh, photo and then I will start with play with all the flowers again I am trying to you know <clears throat> to put them in a lovely way so but I am sure how I like them so I started to adhere at least the big one because it's hard for me to put all these things uh, <clears throat> sometimes I put them and then I, I started to adhere it but with the big and the small flowers I don't know it's hard uh, to do this this time so I started to adhere everything at least the big pieces and I can uh, play with the rest <clears throat> I uh, add in and these small doilies I think it gives an interest look on the background here and to add more white I am trying to block uh, with all the pattern that are behind the flowers so I add an, another tiny doily here uh, with a small blue flower and I love how it looks now <clears throat> okay I'm now I'm going to add all the small flowers that I cut from the paper and I'm this one I put in here without uh, adhesive just to see and play with them until I am happy how they look <clears throat> <coughs> I continue here adding more flowers they are so cute this tiny flower and I select this paper the background paper with all this color because my niece Camila Camila is the sister of Milena that is my previous <coughs> page if you didn't see my previous video I will let you uh, I will let you the link to my first uh, video tutorial with the kit in the description box down below you can check it there <clears throat> and I'm adding now uh, a few of leaves this time the leaves are white <clears throat> too much uh, color on the background so I try to neutralize all these with the white leaves and this will be my title it is from one of the papers so I'm going to cut this butterfly that it says one of a kind so and I'm going to use this as my title here <clears throat> this is ready I am thinking to put this here or here but no I think it looks better <clears throat> on the top of the flow big flower and I think that it is I love how it looks so I'm going to attach all this and you can see I add a few flowers here in the top corner <clears throat> and now I'm going to use the gesso with a brush it's almost dry and I'm trying to blend this on the background the reason for this because I want to fade out the background <clears throat> I am trying to blend this carefully to smooth all the background here smooth and smooth <clears throat> And the reason for that is in that way I can highlight more the uh, the photo and all the embellishments and your eyes don't go direct to the background and all the patterns that are on the back I hope it makes sense this is the way that I can explain you but I'm going to do the same on the other side and carefully uh, I'm going to apply under the different elements that I add and blend all this well only around the borders of this piece the rest of the paper I'm going to let you as it is now that it is ready I'm going to add the butterflies that I cut in blue just to add I am trying to mix all the colors that are in the background in the same with the elements that I am adding so I add a small flower on the top too and this is the uh, when I'm going to add uh, the pearls <coughs> and I am uh, adding some pearls here and there in different uh, location here on the page I'm going to add I'm going to show you just a fraction of the time but you can use as many pearls as you uh, like here then <clears throat> with the same hot glue I'm adding now um, some sequins on the background and I love the details of the sequins because it gives like a glimmer effect on your page but 
no too sparkling just a little because these ones are como translucent <coughs> and they give you uh oh they give a nice uh touch on the page <coughs> once i cover the photos now i am giving paint splatters on the background i am adding a few coats of this to smooth all this area and i love the effect of this technique <coughs> It will look very chubby chic that is the effect that i am looking for this page now i will uh uncover the photos and it is ready carefully i'm going to show you uh, my friends i hope look i love how it looks it's so pretty and i hope that camilla loves it and if you love it and you like this type of tutorial let me know with a thumbs up don't forget to let me a comment let me know what is the part that you most love of this page and i hope that you enjoy this video tutorial i'm going to let you in the description box uh, <clears throat> the links to my social media so you will find more uh, photos of this page and here are two more videos that maybe you are interested i hope that you enjoy i see you soon with a new video tutorial nos vemos bye bye